Why, boys and girls, welcome back to another Bible story with Miss Susan Skidder and our other puppet friends. We are so excited that you're with us today. Hey, let's get right into doing our verses, okay? All right, remember, I'll say the verse first, and then you say it with me. Here I go. <clears throat> Our first verse is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 37, and it goes like this, love the Lord, Matthew 22:37. All right, boys and girls, it's your turn. One, two, three, Matthew 22, 37. Love the Lord your God. Great job, boys and girls. Now, let's do our other memory verse. Here I go. After I'm finished, then you can say it with me. 2 Timothy 1, 7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? One, two, three. Second Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Great job! All right, boys and girls, I'll be back at the end of our time together and we'll do our verses again. Until then, so long. Oh, hello, Daffodil. How are you today? Quack, quack. I'm doing great, Riker. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Hey, would you like to play a game with me? Quack, quack. I love games. Let's play. Let's play. Well, I'm going to make an animal sound, and then you guess what animal sound I'm making. Quack, quack. I think I'm going to be really good at this game. I love games. Okay, I'm ready, Riker. Okay, boys and girls. See if you can guess what animal this is, too. One, two, three. Daffodil, that was the sound of a goose. 
Do you have another one, Riker? I do! I have one more! I'm gonna make this sound really loud! Quack, quack, I'm excited to hear it! One, two, three, roar! Quack, 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 roar! Quack, quack! Hey, Daffodil, where'd you go? Quack, quack! That sounded just like a lion! And I'm afraid of lions! Oh, I'm sorry, Daffodil! That was a loud lion sound, but there are no lions. Quack, quack. Are you sure? I'm sure, Daffodil. Come on back. Quack, quack, quack. That made me a little scared, Riker. I know. I'm sorry, Daffodil. Lions can be scary, but boys and girls, you must have been making that roaring sound with me. Because it sure did scare Daffodil. It was loud and scary. Well, you know what? There are no real lions here, just lion sounds. Whew! Quack, quack! That's a relief. But in our Bible story today, there are lions, and even though they were scary, God kept Daniel safe. Quack, quack! Really? Really! God loved and cared for Daniel, even in a scary situation. And God loves and cares for all these boys and girls. Quack, quack. That reminds me of our Bible verse where it talks about us. We don't have to be afraid because God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Wow. I wish I would have remembered that verse when I got so scared of those lion sounds you guys were making. That's okay, Daffodil. You remembered it now. That's what matters. All right, well, I gotta get going. So, boys and girls, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, I'm gonna go and do some swimming at my pond. So, I gotta go too, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to another Bible story with Miss Susan Skidder and our other puppet friends. We are so happy you're here today. Well, our story today is found, of course, in the Bible. And it's found in the book of Daniel, chapter 6. The name of our story is The Lion's Den. Now, have you ever heard this story before? Yeah, some of you have, probably, and some of you may not. Now, the really, really cool thing and important thing about Bible stories are that the Bible is all true. So this really happened hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and um, it's about Daniel. All right, here we go. Daniel was a leader in Babylon. He did the best work of anyone. The other leaders didn't like this. They wanted to get rid of Daniel. Now that sounds like those other leaders were probably jealous. Everyone knew that Daniel loved God. Three times a day he went home to pray. So the other leaders made a new law. They got the king to agree. You must pray to the king or else you'll be thrown to the lions. What do you think Daniel's going to do? I know what I would do. Do you know what you would do? It's good to think about that. But Daniel went home like he always did. He knelt down and he prayed to God, not the king. Go, Daniel! That's awesome! That's what I would do, too. The other leaders soon told the king, Daniel is praying to God. As he always does, he must be thrown into the lion's den. The king was very upset. 
he saw he had been tricked, but he could not change the law. Poor king. So Daniel was put into the lion's den. All night the king worried about Daniel. In the morning the king was up very early. Daniel, he cried, did your God save you? Daniel said, my God sent an angel. He shut those lion's mouths right up tight. Now the king told everyone, the one true God kept Daniel safe. Oh my goodness, that was so exciting, wasn't it? God saved Daniel. Now Daniel just did not stop praying to God. And Daniel would never pray to a king. We only pray to God. What a great story right from the Bible. Well, I'm so glad you are here today to listen to this story. And Miss Susan now wants to say a prayer of blessing over you and your families. So remember, we can bow our heads and close our eyes to help us not be distracted looking at everything around us. We can fold our hands to help our hands, you know, stay still when we pray. Uh, but we, we can also, you know, raise our hands if we want to, you know, just lift those words right up to God. If we want to just say, thank you, Jesus, for everything you've done for me. It, it, it is a blessing to God when we lift our hands, too. So it's completely up to you. Sometimes Miss Susan just lifts my hands right up to God. So I may do that while we pray. And you're welcome to join me if you want. But if you want to just have your hands folded quietly listening to the prayer, oh, that's wonderful too. Let's pray. Dear God, I just want to thank you so much. Thank you for each one of these children. Thank you for their families. Lord, I just pray that you would put a strength inside of my heart and each child's heart and also their family's heart, that same strength that you put in Daniel to help us only pray to you, only follow you, and only serve you. I pray for you to protect these children and their families this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, remember, Miss Susan loves you with my whole heart, and I am so happy to be with you every week. I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Wow, what a great story right from the Bible. Thank you, Miss Susan. I'm so thankful that Daniel kept praying to God and he didn't let fear get in the way of the right thing to do. He did it anyway. He followed our verse in 2 Timothy 1, 7, didn't he? All right, boys and girls. We're going to do our verse that's found in Matthew 22:37 first. <clears throat> Here I go. Matthew 22:37. Love the Lord your God. All right, it's your turn. 1 2 3. Matthew 22:37. Love the Lord your God. Great job. Now we'll do the one that's found in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right, it's your turn. One, two, three. Second Timothy one, seven. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I'm so thankful for that Bible verse, boys and girls. We don't have to be afraid. God has given us a spirit 
of power, love, and a sound mind that can be filled up with His peace. Oh, that just feels great. You did a great job saying your verses today. Thank you for being with us. Now until next time, remember, Skitter loves you very, very much, but Jesus loves you most. Until next week, boys and girls, bye-bye.